Hey everybody, welcome back to the Spin Rack. I'm here with the boys, P and Kyle. Say what's up, gents. What up? What's going on? We're ready, ready to rock. Today we have we have some weird news. They're talking about oh. Fantastic Four um, directors saying that the man who's going to be the next Mister Fantastic, Reed Richards himself, will be another will be the Mandalorian, aka Pedro Pascal. Also, yeah, I believe when I see it. It says that they like it confirming it. So nah, I don't is, believe it. He is so stretched. He has um, how many how many different properties is he on? Major properties. He's on the everything. Uh, he's got a ton of movies. Yeah, he's on Mandalorian. He's on that that, that hit Warner Brothers show, um, The Last of Us. You know, he's on this now. This is going to be a huge hit. I mean, dude, do they have nobody else? I mean, he's like the, the Latino Samuel L. Jackson. Nobody else they can do. And this goes back to what the How hell many happened? starring movies did Samuel L. Jackson get? It's not the same difference. You know what I mean. Yeah, so, I don't know what you mean. I mean that Samuel L. Jackson's on a whole bunch of movies. Like, yeah, we need this dude. Let's bring him up. And Pedro Pascal, yeah. not to knock what he said, not that he's a really good actor, but the point is, is like, dude, is he going to play everybody? Yes. Like, like, while the iron is hot and you take every role that, that's there. But He's an everyman. He can what, play any what, character. What happened to Krasinski? You know, what he happened? Died. <laughs> I didn't put him in that movie. It t- put him in that movie. It turned him into spaghetti. He's out. Yeah, they gave the fans what they thought they wanted in Straczynski, and they put him in that bad version of the FF outfit. They- I don't think that's it. I think that the problem is, is that he's successful, especially with the Quiet Place and um, his other yeah. movie. Ooh, no, wait, wait a second. You're trying to wait. Wait a second. If he was successful with the Quiet Place, why didn't they make him read Richards? Because he has a lot more commitments. That's what they're basically saying. So does this guy have more commitments? commitments? I don't know. There's the other dude, I don't know what's going. On. Probably it's a question of money. I don't know. He has Maybe a ton of commitments, guy. and Straczynski, Krasinski has a bunch of commitments. What's he got to what do? It, what's, it, what's Krasinski? No, I don't understand. What's Krasinski's commitments? Emily Blunt? What's his commitment? He could do this. <laughs> oh, oh my God. <laughs> That's a so, big commitment. It takes dude, all the time. What is the matter with you, man? <laughs> dude, they've been talking I'm about not, him. I'm, I'm, not, so I, I'm not, I am not knocking him in the slightest. Okay, but the idea that he had all these commitments, I just don't, you know, it's not there. Not, not in comparison, not in comparison to who they're saying is going to be the lead. Okay, this, not in comparison. So, hey, and then two, I don't believe it until I see it because they already came out and they supposedly had fully cast it and then it was just that was it oh no that was just wishful thinking so nope fool me once now i want proof well it would say if, if you're if it go leans that way it does say that they want a name that's going to sell this project not the characters because the marvel studios have decided that they can't sell it so they need all this buzz to give you names like um vanessa kirby as mm. Ivan Moss, it's Ben Grimm, all these people that are the last people that should look like the Fantastic Four. I mean, iffy on uh, Vanessa Curry, but she's shown that she could be okay as a suit, but not the perfect choice for it. But just trying to sell you names the same like they did initially with the X Men, where they had, who was it, um, Edward Norton as Cyclops, Kate Winslet as Jean Grey, they had um, Angela Bassett as Storm, and um, Doug Ray Scott as well to sell the movie. So it could be it could be that situation where they're saying this is really close to done, or this is done, we're confirming, they got this picture up. And then um, but it's not obviously it's not gonna be nobody's. That's not what's gonna happen. But I mean this uh, look, I mean we're not saying the actors that Marvel had before, but when you have so many actors who are well known, the cost for these films become even higher, right? And so no oh boy, here we go. We act like they're a fledgling movie. Disney is worried about their their bottom end of the Yeah, they, they, they are worried because no, they but they're they going with him, they have to sell the movie. They're putting him in here, they're selling the movie, right? I'm not, and I'm not saying you can't. I'm just saying that the higher the cost of the movie, the more you have to make to break even. And how so- long how much money did Marlon Brando get for a Superman, right? It was selling you on Gene Hackman and Marlon Brando saying, we got some talent involved and allow us to have an unknown as Superman. But we're going to do well. We have these top talents. He's not an unknown. He's a very well-known. 
Those I'm saying things. they spent out oh, of the nose for the known characters. They spent out the nose for it to get this thing done. They are not, if you have a property that's that's uh, um, something that you expect to be a big part of your Marvel universe, and you're saying that this guy who's in everything, that means that there's money there. It's not to now turn around and say, hey, we don't got anything. You know, you got to work for per diem. Look, again, I'm not knocking. I like Pedro Pascal. Pedro Nation. This is his. This is the best role for him in in terms of of Reed Richards. And I could be wrong when we say agree. That. Say that it isn't the best role but, for him. Can you just but, agree and say that you don't like this? I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, I mean, say the truth. You don't like this. But what I'm trying to say. No, is say just say. I need you to say it. I just did. Okay, so like <laughs> I was saying before, I'm not sure if this is it for him, but. I mean, if you are so stuck, if you're not sure, if you're looking for the perfect setup, Vanessa Kirby, I'm not sure. You know, yeah, I give you that too. You can put this on the shelf again. I don't think the Fantastic Four has to be the most important part of Marvel's what Phase Six. I think if there's any group of people, any group of heroes that we really, really want to see, is the X Men. You know, those they're not your center of the universe. And I'm saying that they were the center of Marvel sales. They weren't the center of the Marvel universe. I got it. But what I'm just trying to say is that we can make that's what they should be more focusing on. This rollout, I don't think we need the Fantastic Four to have to be part of this rollout. I think by them being forced to work on this, it it messes up things as far as I'm concerned. Focus on the TV shows, like, you know, and focus on the Marvel, um, uh, the other movies. The Fantastic Four, I don't think this is the, to me, this is just not. The top thing you should be You have to get the Wolverine. You gotta get the X. You don't have to get any of those. You got, you have, you, they're probably gonna do another. Know that they're gonna sell. You already have a formula that already worked. They're not going outside of that formula. Outside of adding, same with Spider Man. They added what AI, and they added made him into like a like Jimmy Olsen, more of a an everyman than he was than he was a comic. They just made it a little more commercial and sellable. But all the other elements that are still in there, they made. They just Hollywoodized it. They, they made Aunt May Young, but they kept all most of the elements that were, they kept the, the plots that were already in line. That's they, not what I'm saying. I said, I don't think the, that group of heroes is going to be successful as a result. I think there is their time, go is, better again. That's, their time is better spent on the X Men than anybody else. You don't. The time doesn't have to be spent on X Men because they know it's going to work. They're going to do Wolverine. They, they thought the Marvels was going to work. It didn't. They thought Eternals was going to work. It didn't. They thought. No, um, I'm saying to you that the X Men, if you introduce a Wolverine, that you just the little bit of time that you have to do, is say, hey, we already got a template for Wolverine. We just need to maximize that and maybe make him more of a family man, like they did in the comic books, and just like because it'd be a little more commercial. They're not gonna, you know, what's name when, you know, they at least had the in the first movie they had him as the 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 hair trigger you know thing where he like you know he goes and stabs stabs rogue that was a that was a burn bit that's something that we hadn't seen in the comics in umpteen years so it's like the bits are all there to make wolverine a success uh, magneto and, and uh, xavier if you can't just recreate the same stuff that they already did that does the fantastic four is something you're saying you want this to be a big property for them right so that's what you need to work with the x-men you're trying to get out of the shadow of the stuff that came before out of the cartoons from the the 90s and the movies that were successful that's why they're what like 10 of them or something like that there's a ton of those x-men movies all together and we're still dealing with they had to you had to keep deadpool going so the x-men universe is still kind of intact and can't aim that success can be recreated if you can't do that right then you're you know you're not worth anything and so but they have oh my gosh yeah, then why don't we do, what do corporations do? They go after what makes money. Fantastic Four has not been doing it lately. No. I you don't want to turn the X-Men into the public thing of, of being the center of the Marvel Universe. And I agree with what Cal cool. says. We don't need to focus on this right now, okay? That's I never I said that. Oh, you didn't say that? No, I didn't say that. I, don't, I see, and that's the trouble. See, I, I'm respectful, and I let you go, and you just keep going with this nonsense, okay? And then I regret that I didn't talk over you in the first place. Dee right? You can't, the X Men cannot be the center. Of, the X Men cannot be the center of the Marvel Universe because they're the X Men. 
The X-Men are supposed to not be the center of the Marvel Universe. They're supposed to be protecting a world that hates and fears them, so they can't be the center. So those guys are supposed to be operating, quite honestly, they're supposed to be operating on the fringes and policing their own people. Okay, the Avengers, the Fantastic Four, Fantastic Four, that's your interplanetary threat. Avengers is supposed to be like the planet itself. And then the X-Men, the X-Men are pretty much policing other mutants. That's what they've done since they were there. Look, the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants is out of pocket. We got to go stop Magneto. That's pretty much what they do. So they're not going to do that. That's and that's part of oh, their appeal. So, yeah, no, no, no. That's been the X Men as long as I've known them. Even when they decided to do that whole House of X thing, what was that? The House of X was like, hey, all the stuff that Xavier's talking about, Xavier's dream, and this—it's never going to happen. So just give it up. Okay, they're always going to hate and fear you. So there's, these guys are already saying there is no hope for mutants in the Marvel Universe. Just look out for yourselves. Go get, you know, go get Kratoa. <laughs> you know, we got to come over here and do, we're going to just pretty much do for us. These guys were already, these guys were already on that train of oppressor and oppressed, okay, be, long before it became like public discourse, you know, when everything became political. Right so there you're saying, so they can't you're, be. Saying, you're saying we need to do the Fantastic Four movie. That's what you guys, that's what you're basically saying. You're saying yeah, you, you do. do. The Pedro Pascal. You do. Because the X-Men, to be quite honest, are going to sell themselves. That's it. You throw Wolverine in there, you say X-Men, you'll be okay. The Fantastic Four, the last time those guys were executed well was when they had the last two movies. And that was a very, very long time. And that was a very long time ago. Since then, the Fantastic Four comic was canceled. Okay, that was one. And then two, nobody has had a firm hand on what these characters can do, should be doing. And these are the characters that jump started the Marvel Universe. That's saying a lot. Right? You can't get these guys right. That means you don't understand the universe. You don't understand the universe they inhabit. And they jump started it. Long time, bro. It's been a long time. I mean, look, no, they, no, 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 no. Doctor Doom. That's the we, yeah, we're good. Doctor Doom comes out. And Mister, who's yeah. that guy? Ben um, Middle. The, like, you want to do that douchebag move of having a Doctor Doom so you can drag him into the Avengers, like, and have him against the Teen Avengers? Like, come on. You the guy, I mean, like they've said, have him in the Secret Wars and make him become the, the new Beyonder or something like that. No, stop it. Stop. No, that that's too. That's too much of a that's too much of a capitulation. You've got viable characters. They've got literally three, four hundred books worth of stories that you haven't actualized. Their stories are so good, you've been mining characters. You've been mining all types of characters and storylines from their books. And there's still stuff, there's still a bunch of stuff that you haven't tapped yet. You don't know what to do with them. That's all that that's all it is. It's not as it's a long time. These guys are on ice. And then it becomes this self-fulfilling prophecy as, oh, the Fantastic Four, they're hard. The Fantastic Four, the, the fa because you're not using it. It's like any muscle in the body that you don't use, and then you wonder why it atrophies. You've got to use it. Well, if you think the most fun that people have in the movies are the Guardians of the Galaxy, and those first two movies are basically FF, you know, either FF stories and the ego story where they come in there and they follow the whole story where they put a bomb in them to send them out of out of the space. They did the same thing that happened in like, uh, what was it, uh, 235, that sort of thing. So you had that and then, oh, what's his name, Ronan the Accuser, that's, you know, another FF villain. So, and, um, and you could have done the whole thing of, it's just taking these characters and doing a decent job with it. Now, the, you know, you had ones they were trying to get to the, the you know the extreme success after those first two movies and saying we're not really getting the same success we got with the X Men and what's in the in the Spider Man so let's do another take which was basically you know what was that the ultimate take because all of the bits and ultimate is in there and it didn't work out so then you need to go back and say well the hard part in Hollywood is saying well we don't want it to look like what the other stuff looked like. Now, it doesn't have to look exactly like that stuff. It could be, you know, a better um, translation of the thing, a better design. And I'm saying get away from this, like, um, these skin tight costumes. You can loosen them up, you know, so they don't look like a bad version of a superhero. 
Mick add the design elements to loosen these costumes up and not try to have them walking around in skin tight costumes because that's one of the things when you, they first started they didn't even have costumes and then when they had costumes they were very loose fitting they didn't have masks um, Kirby had planned for them to have masks and then they Stan decided later that for them not to have masks and you could see they were whited out so they didn't run around with domino masks like Robin right so basically they were public heroes and this is perfect that's the hard part of Pedro Pascal because he's had a story where he's had a mask on and they say he's not having even been walking around as a character in the mask it's probably been a stand-in for a majority of the story so ultimately as a story where the hero never has to wear a mask right and Reed Richards isn't even the plastic man type of um a, a elastic person he kind of the chest stays the same and his body just stretches his arms stretch but it's more like a heroic type thing so it's like a perfect thing for an actor so that's why it makes it harder to believe that you know that it, it makes me feel that they probably get them because they're like hey my, i don't have a mask on i'm so happy <laughs> i can do the mandalorian and just do some voiceover and then go do my reed richards and say hey i'm an everyman i can be everybody i look like everybody i'm reed richards now I don't know about the non-costume thing. I think Johnny needs a costume. And of course, the thing is probably just going to wear trunks. But I guess you can mess around with reasons, too. Well, the thing of it is, if you if you go to the loose factor, the Human Torch, when he turns into flame, that look, they've already done it in, like, all three films. It all looks cool. So you're not killing yourself having the regular. You don't have to worry about the regular costume, because in flame form, he's going to be, like, streamlined. Like yeah. this hero, so you got it. You got that hooked up. You know, Sue is gonna work regardless. Even though it felt like it was, even though what's the name looked good in the outfit, I think it still was trying to be too much like a superhero. Where it's just like pull away from that. Like make some cool oh, outfits. What was that? What What was that again? You said what? What did you say about Sue in the outfit? <laughs> she looked good in it. Like, That's a yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what what does that mean? We are not uh, thirsty. What, what does that? Oh, no, no. I'm sorry. What does that mean? Can you explain yourself? We're not thirsty enough. Who said anybody was thirsty? Sometimes you just anyone? need some water, though. Sometimes what are you, you talking about? A tall glass of water. Stop being uh, stop being so That's ageist. Tall. Are you saying That's that women? Tall. Are you saying that women, once they become mothers, they're no longer attractive? Is that what you're saying? Ooh. Are you saying they're leftovers yeah. now? What What are you saying? Wow. <laughs> I think it's time we can close this out. You want to close yeah, up? I think, we'll close out. Out. I think this uh, cow must be taking something really strong I today. It's <laughs> called lack of sleep. <laughs> yeah, he is saying he is kind of bitchy today. So let's um let's go out. Go. Uh oh, so I don't will, worry. Gonna, I will, we'll continue uh, this in spinner rack after hours. <laughs> After dark, like uh, like BT, like BT, right. we got our credit cards ready, uh, Jessica. We got our credit cards ready. So let me summarize. Spinner off the rack. Guys... <laughs> yeah, it's not just spinner rack. Right. It's off credit the cards, <laughs> Nelly. Credit card style. We got the chip in it too now. Nine hundred, nine hundred number. <laughs> I hope. So, like, I like. I just want to summarize to uh, uh, there that you know. We are very shockingly excited about the new Fantastic Four. We don't know why it's, they're doing it at the moment when they think they should be focusing. Wait, on wait, wait. It. Now you're on board? Now you're on board? No, I'm not. What I happened? Said, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to word it politely. Like I said, we think the focus should be more on the X-Men and, um, and we, Popper. You know. No, you don't speak for everybody. You think the focus should be more on the X-Men. So more, we primarily... It's primarily it's Magneto. Not, it's not two things. It's spin rack is one group. We speak as a world, as, as a unit, and a unit. No, we don't. No, and we don't. Not if you're speaking for us. No, we don't. <laughs> All right. Do you want to see? Um, this is my last thing. We can get out out of here with this X Men thing. You want to see Wolverine, right? You talking to me is or Mars? That trick question or what? Why would it, I'm talking to Mars? Is that a trick question? Yeah, that's that's a question. Yeah, I want to see Wolverine. What about it? All right. Do you want to see the original X Men? I want to see X Men. Yes. <laughs> Look, you can be honest and say, "Hey, I would like to see the new X Men." 
right? I want to see the new X Men. Yes. Would you want to see the the Wolverine starring the new X Men or the X Men? Didn't he say he was going to retire? Is he coming back to do the X Men also? I don't know that he's coming after, back after what's the name. Right, so I thought it was just going to be the X-Men. I'm talking about Wolverine. Now you only see Wolverine as Hugh Jackman. It, well, he clearly isn't no puck, that's for sure. So yeah, I see him as Hugh Jackman, right? I'm just saying you you already can see what they you what they want is what they're going to give you. What you want is what they're going to give you. They're going to give you Wolverine first. If you like you like the Xavier Magneto dynamic. Um, I like to change that. But we need to move on to something else. That that took a long time. Let's okay. Not... So ultimately, if they give you a good Wolverine thing, you'll be you'll be happy, and you'd rather okay. would you want to have a mix of the Avengers, and you feel that that's what they need to work out. I'm sorry, the X Men, a, a mix of the new X Men, or we're going to be leaning towards Wolverine. We need to focus on stories that work. We got to stop this blend of trying to cover all kinds of things. We need to to pick up the characters that are really popular. That, not only the, 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 the serious fans have, but also something that could also be more exploited out. But if you don't focus on a good story, right, it's not going to work. And there's a lot of good stories out there that we can use even from the Fantastic Four and put it to other people if need, to other um, characters if needed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You tried to slip that by? What do you think we are, dumb? Come on, man. You tried to fast off that one? He's like, yeah, there's a lot of good stories out there that we can take from the Fantastic Four and give oh, to he else. did. Like, oh my God! All right, let's close. Like, like the X-Men. Good. He's no we good. Fantastic. We can take the Fantastic Four stories and give them to the X Men. He ain't no good. Don't even know any X Men. I was trying to. I, I left you an easy way to say your thing with the X Men, and then you had to go wrong. Kind of Are you kidding me? No. He was having the time of. He was having the time of his life spending that one. He was like. A, he was million dollar smile. And he was like, I'm getting away with it too. I'm getting away. I'm getting away with it. Spin a rack. Out. Out. Oh my God.